When I was growing up, um, I didn't always have the resources to do the things that I wanted to do. So I've always believed that the future is what you create. And so you can create anything that you don't see that currently exists within your world. My parents um, are entrepreneurs. I'm originally from Nigeria. My father um, grew up in the city. My mother grew up in the village of Nigeria. And they both came here and started their own business, which has flourished and has like kind of taught me that to be an entrepreneur means to basically like not be afraid to get your hands and your your hands a little dirty and to kind of get in there and create the things that you want to see in your world. And so I started out um, freelancing, doing hair um, in high school, earning money for myself. I was doing something that I enjoyed, but at the same time, you know, earning income for myself. And I've just kind of been building up businesses ever since. Um, and that's that was kind of my entryway into entrepreneurship. I've basically been able to like lend my skills and talents to other businesses. I've worked for um, companies such as Ford Motor. Um, I worked for Discovery Communications and also um, was a director of finance for a nonprofit. So I've basically been working and kind of investing my talents and business to other companies. I started also my own hair company, um, Divine Extensions, while I was um, freshly out of college. And that was like my first taste at like really um, you know, outside of just freelance and kind of creating something legit and, um, you know, having the world embrace it. I love hair and beauty. And so it was kind of like a natural segue, but still allowed me to incorporate my business sense. And, um, you yeah, know, it's been, it's been pretty cool. So I'm at a place now where I'm not afraid to take risk. And, you know, with the Freestyle app, it's an entrepreneurial venture that's more in the tech space. And so I don't have a background in technology, but I love hair and beauty. I also recognize that there's a need for what I feel my app um, answers and so I'm all about like creating value and I think that when you create a product that like has value people people will flock to it and I want to use this app so. So the freestyle app was created um, so if you've ever stopped someone on the street to ask who did their hair or reached out to your network for a recommendation on a stylist or a barber then the freestyle app is for you. It was created with the black community in mind because our hair is just so diverse. There's so many different textures and when you add in the different styles, especially for black women, um, you just, there's a whole array of um, possible styles and stylists that are needed. And so it was created with the black community in mind as a way for us to share pictures of our hairstyles, shout out the stylists and barbers that understand our hair and know how to make our hair dope um, and allow our network an opportunity to connect with them. So it's, it's basically, your ability to get referrals for the services that you need um, from the faces that you know and trust. And so you're leveraging your network, your friend's recommendation, your friend's word of mouth in order to um, connect with the right hairstylist, barber, makeup artist, freelancer for you. But at the same time, it's it's kind of encouraging entrepreneurship for other um, up and coming artists, stylists, freelancers, because it allows them to list their services and grow their business through client referrals. And so it's not so much that they um, would have to market themselves, but their client clients are marketing them, their business for them. And so, you know, when you look good, you feel good and you want to tell the world about it. And so I wanted to create a platform that would allow you to, you know, give kudos to your favorite stylists because there's a lot of people looking for them that don't know where to go. And so I wanted to kind of alleviate some of that, like that loss of confidence that comes with, um, you know, not knowing where to go or not, um, not connecting with the right stylist. There's people with the skill set that, um, are looking for clients and their clients are looking for people with that s same exact skill set and so this platform kind of merges or matches the two with each other and does so off of um, client referrals and their friends word of mouth. I think that my product is completely different from anything that exists out there because as I mentioned I'm all about adding value and so first and foremost the freestyle app is entirely consumer driven. Um, it's unlike any other booking app that may exist in the marketplace because it's not driven by stylists. It's more so driven by the individual users because stylists are people too. And so you post your pictures, you um, shout out your stylist and your barber. And so that is what drives traffic to the stylist page. And so because it's consumer driven, I haven't seen anything out there. I haven't seen anything. I've seen, of course, like there's similar um, websites such as Yelp, Review Oriented, there's booking apps, but the Freestyle app is cool because it merges the two in a social networking, um, social type of way, um, and it builds trust because you're, you're, you're getting these referrals, these reviews, and seeing pictures from faces that are either your first connection or a connection 
based through or through a friend. So um, it's all network based. It's all, um, you know, a little bit more of a trusted word of mouth platform for you. Yes, I've honestly, the community has really embraced me and my idea and I'm extremely grateful like along the way um, because, you know, like as I mentioned, my background is in technology. I didn't always know what I was going to need until I needed it. Um, and once I reached out or had conversations with people in passing, like I was guided to so many different resources. Um, I did a photo shoot to, to create the website and some of the um, the design interface that you'll see within the app. And um, I had a lot of students just come out and volunteer and um, be a part of that shoot, which was great and amazing because they are a part of my target audience. And then I also, um, you know, when I needed help with um, the actual website, I was able to connect with some freelance web designers. Um, I've just really been able to connect with up and coming, um, up and coming artists and their respective crafts. I think that that's a, that's a demonstration or an example of working sideways. Um, you know, we're all trying to elevate our craft, and so I've been able to kind of partner with people um, in that space. So between um, students helping with the photo shoots, web developers helping me create a website, um, and then of course building my team of developers that are coding and putting together the awesome um, app that I have now. Um, and then also I've been able to take the, the group of people that I've met along the way and create a focus group to help me kind of just, um, you know, bounce ideas, um, think of things that I may not have thought of because I'm so far into the weeds of it. Um, and it's been really helpful because, you know, you can think that users are going to want a particular feature and then, you know, it may not be as important to them as just making sure that this calendar works or this like simple feature works. And so that's been really helpful along the way. Don't be afraid to just step out there, put yourself out there. Um, there are so many ideas as I mentioned before that just don't even see the light of day. I have been that girl or that person at a point in time where I thought something cool and then you know next thing you know we, we've all said it where we've been like oh I should have thought of that or like I had an idea similar to that but um, you didn't necessarily move forward with it and so my advice is always to put yourself out there you just never know like there's so many people in this world someone's bound to connect with you and your idea and I think that don't try to conquer the world just just worry about like conquering you know the space within your reach and you know the people that your tribe will naturally emerge I think that that's something I've had to learn too is that like you know if you're speaking to so many people or trying you don't have a clear idea of who your um, your your target audience is um, it's hard and you kind of get lost and you don't end up speaking to anyone but when you just kind of stay true to yourself and to your vision and to you know why it is that you started on your journey then eventually it's this this tribe emerges and it's like now um, they're able to help speak for you too and it's like you 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 reach more or you catch more fish you know that way than um, than kind of hiding or um, being a little bit too vague or broad with your with your reach so definitely go forward um, also I would say to get a mentor mentors I do believe in um, as I mentioned before I work with the score mentor who's been really really helpful he's helped um, with some business decisions that I that I um, had to make I think getting a mentor is amazing I think also just like networking sideways you know this when you're an entrepreneur there's there's a lot of um, financial resources that you may or may not have and I think when you're first starting out um, any way that you can kind of like you know barter or you know work collaboratively with someone um, is great for you and, and them I think when you spread the wealth wealth around it's good for everyone and you know you may be surprised how many people are willing to like just work with you um, off of the strength of collaboration and what it can do for you both um, and it's fun so um, and have fun with it. That's